Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Joe Mariscar, with my player partner, William Rodriguez. God damn it, you know what it is. You know what it is, and this is Who Is You, the greatest podcast in the world. And uh, today we got a guest on the show. So you know how it goes. We got a guest. You have to introduce yourself. So go ahead and tell everybody who is you. All right, everyone. Hello, hello. My name is Richard. Thank you, thank you. And I'm a guest on this podcast, Who Is Deuce? Yep, yep. Hey, talk on the front part. Yeah, so if you need to move the thing a little to the left, go ahead. Yeah, there you go. You chill. Hello, hello. There you go. Is right, that go better? Ahead. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> so my name is Richard, and I've been... Uh, since middle school, we've been friends, so I've definitely known these two for quite some time. It's been a long time since, what, like... Uh, sixth grade right yeah, yeah i would say yeah. so it's like 2006 man and it's now it's what 2018 yeah that's a while yeah man it's a long time so Richard, go ahead and let everybody know a couple things about you man for the uh, people that don't know you okay so i'm just you know the average Excuse college me. student i'm just working going to school i switched up my major once i was trying to go for a chemistry major so i was doing prereqs for all that good stuff while i was working i did a couple of odd jobs um but currently i've decided to work into go into the field of nursing because i do For enjoy sure. medicine so i i like how intense it could be and i find the job to be respectable and f i would think it'd be rewarding for me as the, an individual yeah, to work course. that kind of a profession they have a, no a lot of knowledge that they have to Go acquire. no and acquire <laughs> yeah so right now i'm taking some prereqs for the rm programs that they offer at various community colleges within this area and within the community college district in in the valley so other than that i'm just working and trying to get my foot in the door getting some experience mm -hmm. so i'm so i've been working at a facility a ucp home they house um, adults with uh, various disabilities. Um, it could be mental disability, physical disability, and I basically help them um, directly with assisted living and helping them feed, bathe, and go about their day that they wouldn't otherwise be able to without, without your the assistance. Without, yeah, yeah. assistance. And I definitely enjoy the work for sure. And nice. I definitely do see and myself doing more medically to help people. And that's what's important. Loving what you do. Definitely. And I don't expect people to know what they want to do right off the bat, especially right after high school. You yeah, definitely of course, have to. I think it's really rare the uh, the amount of people that actually know what they're going to do right after high school. You know, I, did, I still don't know what I'm doing, man. Like, I, it's been, I graduated. We. <laughs> <laughs> hey shut up don't, don't be telling people where i work and shit and come find me and kill me and shit no i'm just kidding um yeah man i graduated 2013 i went to college for a little bit shit was hard because uh, not not in a sense that like i couldn't do it i know i could have but the fact that like i didn't really take it serious in high school uh really put me behind in college because of all the extra fucking classes i had to take and just it, it got overwhelming with all the extra classes plus everything I needed to take just to get my major going and all that. I was just not having it. Like for me, I it's was like, I gotta take algebra again. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's too much shit. So I was just like, fuck it. Um, I'm gonna get out of this shit. I've been thinking about doing a trade school, but I don't know. At my job, I just got a a freaking promotion, so I'm gonna be making some decent money now. So I'm not too I'm not too worried about like anything crazy right now, but you know in the future for sure i need a different career because shit <laughs> so you're on a good path bro so i'm proud of you for that shit you're on a good path you're doing some good shit thanks and congratulations to yourself i definitely agree with what you said about vocational schooling that's a viable option and a lot of yeah. people don't consider it especially in high school because they're always pushing traditional college and academia and myself if i don't get into any like rn programs i definitely am going to be looking into um, vocational schools for nursing um, like the LVN yeah. programs that they do offer here so I, I definitely am gonna like move forward regardless of 
um, what happened with my entry to programs like I'll, I'm not gonna set myself up for failure and say oh if I don't get into this that's it like I'm gonna oh, yeah, look into different your, routes you gotta have your options open yeah because right? yeah. I definitely want to get into this career path so I'm not gonna restrict myself I'm gonna try to get in one way or another for sure there you go nice that's what's up man so uh, other than so other than the school the school things uh you know what, what are you doing these days you, you got any hobbies any uh any uh will was asking uh he was gonna ask you if you've read any good books we know you read we, we i read a little <laughs> bit i read a little bit uh nothing too crazy I, m- like my mom says i like to read shit that doesn't educate me <laughs> i read comics or novels that are like horror based or you know thriller based i don't know i i like interesting stories i'm not I, i've never been like as i get older i get more intrigued about learning about things that matter such as like politics and science but politics i don't really give a fuck too much about i've been getting more intrigued about science mainly because of my boy neil degrasse tyson that motherfucker is so he makes it fun man like his podcast and like just any of his content is just really fun to learn about science and shit and you know get get interested in that type of stuff and as well as uh elon musk man that dude is a smart guy and uh if if for those of you who uh, aren't familiar with podcasts too much and you're checking this one out for some reason that'd be you know thanks a lot because shit if you're checking this pos- this podcast out and you don't even listen to podcasts good shit but anyway on a uh, joe rogan's podcast Elon Musk was on there and you know the conversation they had about a lot of stuff was really interesting like it's crazy man all the a couple of the things they discussed on there i want to talk about with you too because i i know you're on that level where you can actually discuss that with me but uh we'll get into that in a little bit all right we'll see what happens with that let's <laughs> <laughs> we'll see where that goes yeah we'll but see yeah, where that goes i've been i've been like like you know more into uh science and shit because of them and shit but you know what about you man you read any good books okay or, so or what, because what i do a lot of like, reading yeah. for my classes anyway i kind of don't read for fun anymore so you're just like fuck it i'm just like i'm so tired of reading at this point that it's kind of i kind of just watch movies and tv shows more often yeah, that's, now yeah that's what i compared do. to when i used to in high school um but when i did read i mean the most recent books that i've read one of them was like an it, it was uh they've made a movie out of it now it's called the man who knew infinity and it's about this indian guy in the early 1900s he was figuring figuring out solutions to a a lot of math problems that at the time they were trying to find proofs for for it being like legit because when it comes to math you have to always prove it like you can't just say oh it's this solution it's like how do you get there you have to have has to be like so many different ways to to and it has to be comprehensive yeah you can't just yeah and that's basically what he was doing he was finding solutions but he didn't have the skills to prove how he got there and it it the it basically talked about his life and how they've started to notice him from around the world so they invited him over to Cambridge to work with the professors and to continue learning at their university which is which is definitely something prestigious especially definitely. in that point in time cuz he was just in he was like a po- he was born on the poor side of india and he, the education wasn't optimal, but he was still like he miracul- miraculously was able to find ways to interest himself and to excel in the math that he was doing. Right now, I have, I have a question about that. Like how how does one how does one get into mathematic like you know like what how do you say that word math mathematicians? Yeah, mathematician. Yeah, how the fuck, how does one become a mathematician? You know what I mean? Because, like, for me, I was always like, oh, fuck, math is next? Fuck <laughs> this shit, my guy. I'm skipping class. I'm going to go fucking chill, a, chill out in the fucking restroom for an hour or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I probably ditched math class a bunch of times, and especially middle school, man. Hey, really quick uh, side story here. The one time me and me and Tuan were actually ditching in middle school. Now a lot of you guys already know this story, but I just think it's such a fucking funny story. We're ditching in middle school and we're hiding in the bathroom the whole fucking period. 
and the bell's like maybe five minutes away from ringing and for some reason twan like dipped out before me he's like all right i'm gonna just dip out already so he like or i don't i think he went to go check i think he was like i'm gonna go see if it's clear and then we could dip out whatever so this food never comes back and i'm like it's taking him so long so i go outside i'm walking around i turn the corner this fool is getting held by the fucking dean or somebody like that. And they're taking him to the fucking dean's office because they knew he was ditching. This, <laughs> oh fool, my God. this fool looks back at me. I look at him. I kind of just go like this. Like, I'm like, look around, like, to see if anyone else saw. And then I was like, fuck it. My bad, bro. And I just fucking took off. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to get caught. <laughs> and they took him. And, man, that was, yeah. He, he ended up telling me his mom was pretty pissed that I, uh got him some detention but <laughs> that's funny and <laughs> um you said what grade was that it had to be like seventh seventh eighth grade, grade yeah okay because in eighth grade i ended up becoming the dean's assistant <laughs> <laughs> and at the time oh, there was shit. a scandal like midway through that school year where the dean was trying to perform a sting against the student will <laughs> look you know who that was richard did you know that the Alex will was, guy? did you know that will was actually involved in that you're a part of it were you one of the oh kids man involved? hold up hold up this is great will take it away all right i was i was actually one of uh like uh the main guys like the ringleaders you know what i mean <laughs> okay like there was there was three of us that we had set up to be i'm not gonna give away any names just because feds mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah they could come get me that's fine you know what I mean? <laughs> like it, uh, so there was three of us that were uh, that were running the whole operation, and uh, we had. And how old were you guys? Fuck! I mean, uh, this was this was <laughs> we were, like we were running. Hold up! He's like we were running the operation. These fools were in like <laughs> sixth, seventh grade. Yeah, I don't remember how how old we are because I'm like, sure it's I'm like old. between like eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, around there. Like that's when that's when I first started like. Uh, getting engaged in like uh narcotics you know what i mean yeah like uh i don't know I, I i still feel like to this day josh he knew about uh the fucking the fucking uh the weed in the fucking in the drainage pipe because that's how we got it started like this fool went this fool came up to me I, dude i actually remember that shit bro i remember kids talking about that it was a good that's time. fucking crazy and for the longest time i didn't know will was involved in that shit because he kind of fucked off from our clique for a while because he yeah. was hanging out with some other kids and the ones doing that whole thing and i had no idea until later on this fool confessed to me about everything but anyway yeah go ahead so uh sorry i had a fucking mouthful of vape <laughs> <laughs> so uh uh, so there was three of us, and he he told me, uh, "All right, what, like what makes like what makes you think that nobody hides, uh, like like weed in the drainage pipes? You know what I mean? Because it was like the middle of fall. You know what I mean? Like there was there was just hella fucking leaves like just in the pipes. You know what I mean? Just stuffed in there. Like if someone literally like went Wah! and put their fist in there and mm -hmm. stuffed it in there, and this fool just went, let's check it out. And I was like, <laughs> all right, whatever." So we check it out. We reach our hand in there, and I pull out this fatty fucking sack of shake, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" And I and then this one went, "What the fuck did I tell you?" <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and to this day, I, I, I was like, "Yo, like this motherfucker knew. Like he just wanted to get me on the operation." So I pulled it out. I'm like, "Yo, what the fuck?" And this was like, "Dude, let's slang it." And I was like, "I'm down, whatever." So I take it back to my pad, and like. I'm an amateur at this at the time, and I mean, so like I'm trying to measure it out as best as I can. I'm like, oh, here's a gram, here's a point five, blah blah blah. You know what I mean? Whatever, whatever. Because at at the time, kids were only kids were only buying like grams, two grams yeah. maybe. You know what I mean? Like they weren't like they don't have jobs. I mean, so they're, they're basically yeah. saving up the fucking lunch money. Yeah, they're basically buying weed off allowance, man. I mean, <laughs> I hate to admit it, but when I was in middle school, I was. I, you know, when I started smoking weed, I, it was off of my allowance. My dad would give me, like, five bucks for every chore, and then weekly I'd get, like, 10 to 20 bucks. So I would put in uh, put five on it with the homies, and we'd all get some weed. That's if you were fortunate True. enough to have an allowance because I never yeah. had an yeah, allowance, me, yeah, me neither. to be honest. Yeah. I had the my breakfast and lunch for school for free because they had, you know, the ticket program stuff, yeah. mm -hmm. and I was eligible, so I never got an yeah. allowance. Boom, so. <laughs> Man. My little Mexican ass worked hard for my allowance, though. My dad, he put my, like, to get a, to get the money, I had to work. Like, he'd be like, all right, for the five bucks, you got a vac, grass. you got a vacuum, <laughs> cut the grass, maybe water the plants, and then 
you know, I'll give you some five bucks. And like my little, I was in elementary, not elementary, in middle school. So I'm just like, you know, I'm a little scrawny ass kid, like cutting the grass and shit, barely being able to push that shit. Man, but fuck it. I did it for the allowance. That's good, though. I like the fact that and you had to work for it. Yeah. You know what, though? My dad putting me to work at such a young age uh, developed a very good work ethic in me. Because now, like I'm, any job I'm, I've been at, I've been very good. Like, dude, I've been employee of the month at my job for two months straight. I'm going on three months. That's awesome. I'm going on three months in a row, employee of the month. My work ethic's very good. Like, I tell everybody, if you give me a job, you tell me what to do, I'll get that shit done, if not better than what you expected, my dude. And that's how it's my supposed dad, to be, to My be dad honest. taught me how to work, bro. He, th- There's one thing my dad taught my ass is how to work. That fool taught me how to be a really good worker. That's really good, and yeah. I applaud him. Because yeah, not a man. lot of people have like work for it and know <clears throat> what it's like to earn. Exactly you earn what you're that's why me with my money and shit yeah. i know what it takes to earn that shit so i'm just like rare like i try to be responsible I, i'm you know even though i buy a lot of like weed and all that stupid shit i am very responsible with my money i pay my bills i give my mama money you know i do what i gotta do you know what i mean that's music to my ears do what i gotta do you could say that smoking weed's bad and like some of the things i do is a sin and that is bad and all that but look you know as long as i'm giving my mama money and as long as i'm paying my bills and i'm doing what i gotta do you can't tell me shit sorry i'm, I'm ranting a little bit because a lot of people like to give me shit because i'm a i'm a pothead and all that shit and it's just like fuck out of here dog fuck i got a bong right here right now i'm gonna rip that <laughs> shit soon so fuck you but anyway we're getting sidetracked here uh we'll go ahead and go, go finish off the story about about porter how it all started and shit hey, didn't it even like hit the news or some shit it, yes it, yes i did it, i saw it on tv at, it, it um, said at the time too the, the headline was potter middle school or some shit it, it was they're trying to coin something with that yeah. but it, it, <laughs> it not only involved the dean he's like yeah not impressive <laughs> not impressed not impressed but not only did it involve the dean but it also i think it was like the assistant principal yeah. or I forgot yeah, something like something that. like that. Well, like, like administration. Well, talk more into involved. that. Talk more into how the dean like did the whole operation to catch you guys and shit. Oh man, this is so great. It's like an unexpected topic, but it's it's a good one. It's yeah. a great one, and especially since Richard was like the assistant. Like this, just yeah, it happened midway, crazy. basically midway while I was um, oh, taing man. for the right. dean. So I definitely knew about <laughs> it. All right, well, go ahead and go, tell the rest of the story. I'm done fucking blabbering. I'm always talking so much and shit nah, don't worry about it brother you deserve your fucking time in the shine you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh uh yeah so we we pull the fucking we pull the weed out and this was like let's sell it so i'm at back in my pad trying to fucking scale all this shit and i mean because he had handed me a scale i was like yo let's get this i was like, all right let's do it so we started scaling everything out and then we go back the next day full-fledged slanging and i mean like all right we need to we need to make waves in this little community that is fucking like what what grade was it again like sixth grade fucking no, not like no seventh, it was eighth? like eight seven, seven. S- like seven no no i think like, it was eighth um, grade yeah i think i think that's right. when oh no no wait like, no like, probably your story was uh, earlier but yeah. then and it started eighth cracking grade yeah. is when they got caught yeah because we all got fucked and by and by that time we were making like we're making pretty good money for being kids. You know what I mean? Like, uh, we started just slinging, like, in bathrooms and shit. Like, just because, you know, there's no, uh, what do you call it? Cameras in bathrooms. You know what I mean? Because it's an invasion of personal privacy. So, we could just be like, oh, you know, kind of nonchalantly walk behind the kid. He goes in the bathroom. We go in the bathroom. And then he goes in the, the handicap stall. We go in the regular stall. <coughs> Transaction. You know what I mean? We're trying to keep it low-key as fuck. And it was, it was like that for a while up until, you know what I mean, people started getting sloppy. You know what I mean, we started getting more people to uh, slang. You know what I mean, we started getting more people to get in on this operation. You know what I mean? Because we're trying to... I don't I don't know why, but we're trying to be fucking kingpins in that motherfucker. So <laughs> yeah. For real. That's what it sounds like. And for real. But, uh... <laughs> fuck, hold up. My shit's kind of fucking up. But, uh... So, uh... So we start hiring more people doing this and that, and uh, I guess the dean or what have you catches wind of this, right? And she tries to make like a sting operation. So she gives a kid money, you know what I mean, to buy off one of our dealers. And this this kid, I don't even remember his name. I don't even think he really got caught up because we would have found out, you know what I mean? 
like when we were in the like holding area i want to call it <laughs> it was like a conference room like we were just chilling there and they were like all right so we're gonna let you talk this talk this out amongst yourselves so you guys need to figure out who did what and who's gonna take the blame you know what i mean because technically technically in her eyes she had caught in us you know what i mean but little did she know what she i mean i'm pretty sure she knew it, what she did was illegal you know what i mean <laughs> yeah. you know what i'm saying uh, yeah so right when they leave the room we just start going at it at each other's necks like yo who the fuck snitched what the fuck you know what the fuck it was it you was it you and i was like nah man fuck that shit i wouldn't snitch blah 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 blah, blah. you know what i mean so we're sitting there and then like we're, we're sweating i mean like fuck like what are we gonna do because my fucking pops is on his way dog you know what i mean he's on his way so fucking and so is everyone else's parents you know what i mean so we're all tripping you know what i mean like we need to find out who's gonna take the fall who's gonna do what but all of us are not trying to take blame for it you know what i mean because uh, like we, we, like we would get like a small sentence you know what i mean at most you know what i mean and like juvenile uh the like, juvenile fucking i want to say penitentiary but it's not like the same <laughs> shit you know what i mean it's not the same thing but uh but that's just, that's the gist of it, you know what I mean? So we're all tripping, and then they eventually just move us all into different rooms. Like I was in the the health fucking what's that shit called? The health center where you get like, oh, I fell, ow, I need a band aid. Yeah, you know what's that called? The health thing. I Clinic? guess it, it was a health center, or right, they the, had the ner- the, the health nurse room, or whatever. I don't know, but uh, I was in there, and I was sitting like right by the door, and I was like fuck like as soon as this bell rings i'm fucking gone you know what i mean as soon as the bell rings they can't do shit to me anyways school is over i can go you know what i mean so right when the bell rang i just got up like that and then they went ah no 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 and i was like ah oh, fuck and they brought me back into the comments room and then uh kind of all of our parents were just right there you know what i mean and then they're just like what the fuck is going on you know what i mean and that's when shit started getting real. You know what I mean? That's like, intense. Like, like they started planning out, like, court dates, things like that. You know what I mean? And I was getting nervous. You know what I mean? I'm like, fuck, like, this is going to be whack. You know what I mean? So when I went home that night, they, uh, my dad was like, well, I'm like, how much weed are you selling at a time? You know what I mean? Like, here's a little, here's a little sandwich bag right here. Here's a marker. Outline where you think it would be at. You know what I mean? And I was like... Dude, I'm selling the whole pack, bro. Like, I'm selling the whole <laughs> sandwich bag, my guy. You know what I mean? And then the, I, I remember his face. He was just like, oh, fuck. He, like, he grabbed, the, like, he grabbed the, like, the top left of his forehead. He was just like, oh, fuck. You know what I mean? Like, my kid's about to go away. You know what I mean? And I was like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? Because I, I'll tell my dad the truth. You know what I mean? Like, I, but I was telling everyone else, like, a different story. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, like I was telling them, like, oh, like, I was barely involved, this and that. But at the same time, I was in there son but that's the same story everyone was telling like everyone was like i'm barely involved this and that we're not trying to get fucking caught up you know what i mean yeah like we're trying to fucking go on and prosper in life you know what i'm saying as uh drug dealers <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> but uh but uh long story short they eventually like the cops get involved because everything starts becoming a case you know what i mean like like everything starts forming like oh, okay we can actually put some people away. There is some evidence here, blah, blah, blah. And then once they realized that the dean had set up this illegal sting operation <laughs> on us, they're like, nah, oh, D, you can't do that. You know what I mean? Like, you got them. You know what I mean? Like, you did it. Good for you. You know what I mean? But you can't do that. Like, so, so basically, because the dean busted that sting operation, all of you were saved and didn't have to do no court dates, no nothing, no like you guys got out of all that fucking bullshit. Yeah. So essentially, all the blame that was on us jumped onto her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck. So like, essentially, she was facilitating this operation in a sense. You know what I mean? Now, you know what I mean? Because yeah. since she had technically bought weed off of us. She was like, you know, a part of it in a sense. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Contributing. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, she gave us money. You know what I mean? In the long run. So they eventually told us this really has nothing to do with you guys at this point. But at that point, there was already papers out. There was a news story. You know what I mean? But luckily, none of our faces were anywhere near that story. You know what I mean? Because it wasn't progressed in that manner. You know what I mean? Like, 
were like, oh, this kid, this kid, this kid. Get the fuck out of here. I mean, yeah. it was just like, it was just like this is the school where this is happening. You know what I mean? That was the, that was the main story. You know what I mean? And uh, it just, it was just like the most strange experience because like you you go from like about like literally about to lose your freedom you know what i mean yeah to like everything's gone poof like second nothing. chance yeah nothing you know what i mean nothing happened you know what i mean yeah. and it was the weirdest because it was the weirdest thing because i've never went through that before you know what i mean like i never went through like i never beat a case at that time you know what i mean like i was just like what the fuck like <laughs> did, we, did we just win you know what i mean and then, like, I remember, this is what I remember the most. I remember the cops coming in and telling us, you guys are free to go. You can go home. You may you may or may not graduate on stage. You know what I mean? And that will be the extent of your penalty. You know what I mean? And that was it. And I was like, what the fuck? And I remember, look, I remember looking at the homie Josh, and I was like, did we just beat this? And then this will look to me like, oh, I fucking think we did. And then they leave to go talk to like the dean and everyone else to you know get, get that whole thing fucking situated and uh once they leave the room all of us that was involved in it was just like yeah <laughs> fuck yeah oh dog woo, woo. just slapping each other like what well, fuck yeah man they didn't get us fuck yeah and then you know like i did some convincing on my part i was able to graduate on stage everything happened as planned you know what i mean so Little did I know, my boy in here was a narc. No, I'm fucking, <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking around. I'm fucking around. <laughs> my question to you now, Richard, you know, what did you know about the dean and the whole situation with her sending someone to buy drugs off these guys? You know what? Th there was more than one dean assistant. It wasn't just me. There was maybe one, two more people uh, beside me that were... Uh, the dean's assistant right. and i actually forgot their names but w apparently one of them was also involved for the operation like a part of the operation really? yeah one of the uh, dean assistant wow so it's was a, a part of it. involved in like buying drugs to stop the whole uh you know i think so operation? i don't remember the details for it but, but after so that he was incident, working for the dean right yes okay. like he was basically Fuck. in it as well yeah like like he was the one that she hired, not hired, because he kind of just basically did it like, I love you, Dean. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so, praise. You know so I mean? that's the fucking kid that she hired then, right? Yeah, that's the yeah, one that she hired to go. Must, yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's the one. Because he was also a Dean assistant along mm -hmm. with me and another person. Right. And ever since that happened, I haven't, I hadn't seen him 